Okay, here we are playing Cool City of Cool Boys by 4098. Um, a forum posted stage, it looked very nice, so I wanted to try it out. And yeah, this is awesome. We do have the Dust Crasher here, and yeah, just look at this, it's such a great weapon. Um, yeah, let's not abuse it <laughs> too much here. Um, let's try and do our best to get out it for a bit. Um, this is um, supposedly a more traditional light level by Fatih, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see how it pans out. Let's see, can we actually... No, we can't quite deal with him this way, but... He just... Dang it, well... If I had just timed that right, then we could have definitely got a knob through there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. That was a pretty cool segment. I definitely also like the pieces of earth we have in the eyes here. It looks quite cool. Quite nice. Okay. Oh, okay, this is this is the beginning. Yeah, we don't want to go down there, but we did get that E-Tank for picking that path, so yeah, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. And actually, can we... Oh, does this work? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, these guys are... Like, they aren't, like, deadly or anything. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, they aren't that deadly, you know. The damage they deal isn't all that much, but, you know, they have been buffed significantly from Mega Man 2, so they are super hard to dodge now. Although, I guess, in Mega Man 2, the projectiles were a bit more finicky but in this game they can launch longer or further distances so yeah it's like they are easier in one way but harder in another uh, just whatever let's uh, yeah i'll see you back there where i died in a second there okay we're back whoops that time he somehow survived maybe yeah you know what let me just try this out here i think that when we shoot from below, yeah, see, only one of the shrapnel pieces hit him, that's why. Okay, so, if you hit targets dead on, the Dust Crusher naturally is going to deal more damage. That is very interesting. Now, this time, I'm gonna take you out, because, yeah. <laughs> he was a lot deadlier than I gave him credit for. Actually... Well, no energy. I kind of hope for some weapon energy there. Ooh. <gasps> okay, wait. Yeah, let's see. This is very interesting. Cool gimmick combination here. Hmm. The footballs in the Mega Man 3 needle thingies here, whatever they are called. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna wait for it. Very nice. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna have another water section here now with fish and these things combined. It kind of looks like them. I poured that. Time that poured it there. Huh. Nice. And nice. Okay. And. <laughs> So before we had a ascending section, now we're descending with these spinning platforms. Yeah, this is a pretty lovely stage here, actually. Like... Yeah, standard difficulty. Nothing is too hard, it feels kind of, you know, medium difficult, if you will. It's not an easy stage, but it's not hard either. It's pretty nicely there in the middle, I will say. Oops, okay, so we gotta hide here. Okay, this is interesting. 
Okay, this is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought here. There you go, okay. Dang it, I might die. Nice. Yeah, I haven't never seen equipment fight like this before. This is really neat, actually. And the Mega Man 4 Buster is <laughs> screwing me over here a little bit. And I also have this weird thing going on, like when I... <laughs> when I hold down the... Uh, charge button, and I also hold... Like, I use my... Point pointer finger on the B button to slide, so like, yeah, it's kind of weird probably to imagine, but I, I hold my hand very weirdly on the controller. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even know why I brought that. Ah, yes, whatever. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I was going to explain how I slide. Then again, why, I, yeah, I guess the other way to slide while holding down the charge would be to just hold down and press A, you know? yeah, just whatever. <sighs> just whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. See, no, everything is combined here. Yeah, very well made stage, I will say. And can we actually stand here? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, it definitely got trickier here. And... nice... Yeah, I really like this low. Oh. Very, very nicely balanced here. Ooh, and that's interesting, those things block off our shots here. Come on now. See, like... Okay, well, sometimes it seems like these things reflect my bullets even though they are fully retracted. It's like they have a frame or two and they can still fire off or block off your bullets there. Yeah, that's a cleverly placed Kombasa Budo enemy there. Yeah, I didn't really think that through that the top spin would come falling down on me there. And okay, so yeah, we have them here before. We got in a, in a big ass circle. Hmm. <laughs> there is definitely something hidden over here. Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay. Very cool little puzzle there. Spell even better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. yeah, lots of nifty enemy usage here in the level. And this guy can't really hurt, man. You know what? We are gonna do some of that, and yeah, this is gonna be massive damage. Nice. Oh, and I like, I like what you did with the tile, or yeah, with the text editor here. Put those blocks inside the pillars here, like, yeah. I don't think these are, um, yeah, I think this is text editor, I might be wrong, but I think he uh, thought he used some kind of gold edge here on the sides, and then he used these as center tiles here. 
yeah, I think. It looks very cool anyway. And yeah, we're gonna have a spin here, yeah. Oh, oh. <clears throat> you know, we're gonna try that again without damage boosting. Whoa, okay. That is harder than it looks actually, you know what? We're gonna do that. Yeah. That's the way to do it. You can do it while the shield attacker is there, but you know, obviously, but it gets a lot harder. Huh. <laughs> well, yeah. We definitely do have a very nice difficulty progression here, and you see this here is also text edited in the window, these red bubbles here. Yeah, center Kyle's in there, looks very cool. But yeah, um, as I was just saying, um, we do have a very nice difficulty progression here. You can definitely feel it's ramping up. Like more spikes, uh, enemies are in tighter quarters, and yeah. Whoa! Oh, dude! Uh, I did not count on that happening. Yeah, that was very dangerous. Damn, completely botched that man. No, yeah. And checkpoint. Yes. <laughs> very nice. So we're in the in the top of the tower here of sorts. Fighting Freezeman in a very tight quarter here. Oh yeah, you gotta remember here. He jumps when you shoot. He's kind of like Crash Man, just... Yeah, moving around a bit faster, or well, a lot faster actually. And yeah, let's just do this thing here. Nice. Of course, he do. He, he deals very little damage for his man. Um, I think he only deals. Is that three or four damage? Like he must be one of the. Yeah, lowest dealing damage robots out there right now. Oh. But that's not a bad thing. <laughs> but with his, yeah, pattern there, it's kind of hard to dodge him. But yeah, cool sort of cool boys. A very nice stage pack for the night day. Definitely worth the way thumbs up. You know, it looked nice. It played out nice. It started out easy and, you know, well, it started out easier and progressed in difficulty very smoothly I will say you could definitely tell like okay here it's stepping up a little bit towards the middle and towards the end you know we had spikes with the spinning platforms uh, you had to uh, well you didn't really have to but you could take out enemies before trying out the platforming in each room there like there were, there were a lot of different elements and yeah, it flowed like very nicely. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Uh, the stage was very nice, had a lot of clever setups, and yeah, it's the fun stage to play. So yeah, I will just leave it at that. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and have a nice day.